could have sniped you right then and there, but I didn't. Take that into consideration. But check it out, I've been reading the comments, hearing the complaints. You want to see the full episode, go to JorgeMasvial.com. Make sure you check out all that free content I'm giving away on how to defend yourself, whether it be in the street, in the cage. Make sure you enjoy yourself. But mainly, go check it out. It's cheaper than a cup of coffee, and you get a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Make sure you show some love. Alright, so you came back after this show and Darren Till wants to fight. Actually, for first um, I get out of the show and we're trying to get an opponent and uh, Nick Diaz is one of the names that adored us when we signed. Nick Diaz. Nick. 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 I don't know what ends up happening with on his side of the negotiations because he has to deal with USADA. He had also a couple of fines for, for the marijuana smoking. So that fight didn't materialize, but we thought it was gonna happen. Long story short, Darren Till can't get a dance partner for England. Nobody wants to fight him, you know? And uh, we're like, fuck yeah, we'll, we'll fight this guy anytime, any place, anywhere. Oh, it's in England in his hometown. Cool, let's go. You know, and that's it. So here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Talk, tell us about Bruce Buffer. What, what do you think of his, his demeanor, how he gets in your face? Do you ever want to punch him in the face? Or does he cheer you up? Does he... <laughs> Me, me personally, when I'm in, in, it's not really against Bruce, it's just that when I'm in that moment already right here, yeah. don't talk to me, don't touch me, don't, there's only one thing on my mind, I don't want you talking, I don't want to know about your day. When I'm in that cage, leave me the fuck alone. So you just want to focus on him? I just want to focus on breaking that guy's face. I don't, that's all I'm doing right now, is just getting ready to enjoy the song. <laughs> So you don't want to break eye contact with him? No, I don't care about that. Uh, it's just, I don't want uh, like people in my space, I would say. You know? Yeah. 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 What are you saying? I love you to your daughters? Yeah, to my daughter, my son. Yeah. So did you have any any doubt that you weren't going to win this fight? No. You knew for certain you are going to win? And I knew I was going to do it by knockout because I would not win the decision in England. It yeah. was not going to happen. It was not gonna, I was not going to, if I beat him from pillar to post five rounds, I wouldn't have got the decision. Yeah. I knew I had to. Yeah. What do you think he did? I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Max Vidal, one of the veterans of the game. Oh. See, he moves like this, and he just had a kick, but I was aiming for uh, the oblique kick for his thigh, you know? The blink kick. That sucked. I've been out for a year and I do that. I'm like, oh, you can be, you can be honest, man. Did you want to hit him in the balls? And no, 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 no. I wanted to fucking fuck up his leg because I had a, uh, my knee wasn't the greatest at the time, so I was like, let me give him a fucked up knee too. And <laughs> see, oh. and you can see right what I was going for. <laughs> he, he took it really well. Oh, super well. Must have um, titanium balls. So I miss the kick, and then this happens. Boom. Yeah. Versus Oh, early from Till. I've been gone for a year. I'm like, oh shit, hell yeah. So you, you didn't panic at all? No, 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 no. I knew, I knew. A lot of people see would, would panic here, or like, man, I haven't fought so long. I'm rusty. No, it's gonna come back to me. I just gotta relax. It's gonna be there. What do you, what are you trying to do? Right trying here, to... you're not trying. You're not trying to get hit. I'm, I'm hit. Okay. I'm moving, I'm not staying stagnant so he can't get no shots on me. I'm constantly giving him angles. And he's gonna get, I think, a little bit more tired because I'm slightly better grappling than I feel. So they had you ranked 11 here? Yeah, I hadn't fought for a year, so my ranking had fell. Well, when I fought Wonder Boy, I think I was number four and he was number two, something like that. So you dropped seven. Yeah, seven. well, more for the inactivity than anything. You know? Yeah. Because when I lost my ranking, he didn't go that bad because he was uh, above me. But the inactivities would drop me. Yeah. his way through, but it's work. Oh, nice takedown. I remember Till having heavy hands naturally. Yeah? Yeah. Like, he touched me with a jab and I feel it. You know? He definitely has some of the heavier hands I've ever felt. He goes to that so often. That's such his power shot. Oh! Oh, oh he's oh, that good! Oh, shit. Look at that. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> when you hit yourself, what did you say? Well, the, the thing is such a drug. When, when you go fight in somebody's hometown, you're, you're hearing everybody cheer for you. Yeah. But God be with me and I beat you. It's just silence. <laughs> you don't hear nothing. And I was just like, I told you, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 
He's, 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 he's actually the cool dude, man. Uh, he's one of the dudes that I do like this for, man. Uh, he was already out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, uh, he just wanted the insurance. Uh, well, we'll get to that. Another favorite part of this was um, in the post fight interview, you really. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but Jorge was like very positive and telling uh, the crowd to get behind Till. Damn, he's fucking good, man. He's only 24, England. He's got so much more to go. I'm 34. He's, he's going to be a, a tiger one day right now. He's a young bull. He's doing pretty good right now. 85. But he wasn't really dominant against Gilbert. But I'll give you some backstory to that. Till got in on uh, the fight of Saturday because he had visa issues. He didn't get in until like literally Thursday, I think. That's crazy, man. Usually we're 10 days, if I'm fighting in Australia, I'm coming here exactly 10 days before so I can be acclimated, the time is different. You know, when you guys are sleeping, we're awake and, and it, it can just trigger a bunch of bad things, you know, if it's not done right. So my hat is often that he came, cut weight, and then competed in, in the morning, you know? Yeah. Let's say if he were to get the belt, uh, would you consider moving up to middleweight for a rematch? Not right now. I feel like I got work to do at, at 170 pounds, there's a lot of... Baptisms I have to attend. <laughs> uh, first, I'll, I'll take care of my job, then do his thing, and give me in the future. Yeah. Thank God for this amazing journey. I come from a very humble place. I'm in front of all of you here. This is amazing. This is mind blowing, you know? Thank you. Whether you booed or you cheer, everybody show me so much love in the streets. England, I will be back. I said it earlier this year. I gotta go to, go to England, give my fans a fight. Couldn't ask for a better opponent.